we are going to be installing the SCT Livewire TS Plus. Now this program is not going to only allow you to monitor a bunch of different settings uh, that are not displayed on your normal cluster. Uh, it is going to be able to monitor basically anything on this engine that has a sensor. This program is going to get us an additional 59 horsepower gains and then 73 foot-pounds of additional torque. Let's get this thing installed on Nicole's truck. Alright, now this live wire is going to be an easy plug and play system. It is just going to plug into your OBD2 port down below and then it'll be just an HDMI cable to the back of the programmer. All right guys, now that we do have this programmer plugged in and the key into the on ignition, we are gonna go through and check for updates. Now, since we are in the shop and we do have Wi-Fi in the shop, we do have our Wi-Fi configured to this live wire already. If you do not have Wi-Fi, you can update this through your computer as well. So we are going to check for updates. Internet is required. So there is a little bit of an update here, so we are gonna sit and let it do its thing. All right guys, after doing the update via Wi-Fi, we did run into a slight issue. We were noticing when trying to do the programming that the programmer was not sensing the truck was in the on key position. So after talking with SCT, we figured out what our issue was. Now there are two options if you do run into this issue. You can go into your settings, It'll be just one screen over and then we'll go into device settings and then if we jump down to ignition key check if we go into there we can turn it on to none so that is one option that you can do because it will automatically be in the auto auto detect mode so we went to none and for some of you that may fix your issue we ended up running into the same issue still. After talking with SCT, we ended up figuring out that, well, we possibly figured it out that it was a corrupted file during our updating via Wi-Fi. So with us being farther into the shop, our Wi-Fi signal was not the strongest. So although it did say completed via update on the Wi-Fi, we were still having that ignition key Problem. So we ended up updating our programmer with the computer using the supplied USB to micro USB cable. After we did the update via that way, it ended up fixing our issue. So let's go into actually programming this truck now and getting a tune on it. First, we're going to, going to go into vehicle or program vehicle. It's going to give you your notification. Our key is in the on position already and then we will it'll know it'll recognize the truck already so we're gonna choose that and this is where you're gonna change some of your parameters before downloading the tune for now the truck does have 87 octane in it so we're gonna leave that if you want to change, you can turn speed limit off, you can. It is already off. And then we're going to go, let's see here. So as long as everything looks good for you guys, we're going to hit approve. And did we change tire size? Yes, we did. He has a 33 inch tire, so we're going to punch that in. 33, done. So tire size 33, we're going to continue with that, we're going to turn the key to the off position, and then now to the on position, it's 
It's going to save your stock tune, so if you ever want to revert it back to stock, it will be saved on your programmer, and you can download it if you want to take it into the dealership, so you don't want to know that you had a tune on it, and then re-download your tune when you get it back from the dealership. We're just going to follow the prompts, let it do, it, let it do its thing. Now that the tune is fully installed, it is going to go through and clear the DTC codes. We will turn our key to the off position. Turn our key to the on position. It's going to do one final check on everything to make sure it's all good. and download is complete. Now, if you guys ever wanna do return your vehicle back to stock, if you go into vehicle program, you just hit the return to stock. We're not gonna do that. So we'll go back and talk about some of the other features. So we have gauges and data log. Make sure your key's in the on position. And we are going to choose Ford, Gas, 07, and prior years. Uh, not that one, we have a 2015, so we're gonna go Ford, Gas, 08, and newer. So once in here, it'll come with a standard screen. So if we do want to change the layout, we can tap the screen, go to layout. And there'll be a, several different functions. You can choose a four digital screen layout, uh, a nine digital screen layout. And if you want to do more of a graph layout, you can go that route. Uh, just so for purposes, we'll choose that one. Now, if you guys do want to change the configuration, just click on which gauge you want to change and double tap. And you can go through, uh, we'll change voltage to, we'll just do air intake temps. And then on here, you can actually set your min and max range at when you get out of those parameters, you can actually have your tuner give you a warning uh, and it'll flash at you. Uh, you can choose how it indicates, um, LED, red or yellow. You can choose what you would like. So we will go back, exit our gauge screen. And we have performance tests. So in here you can do zero to 60 times, you can do your quarter mile times, and you can do your braking times. Uh, if you do need to clear your DTC codes, if you go into vehicle functions, and if you go in and you read your DCT codes, it'll actually give you the code on what it is, and you can actually click on that code and then you can figure out exactly what it is. It'll, it'll tell you exactly what it is, whether it's a throttle position sensor parameters or um, temperature gauge issue or whatever it may be. So we'll go back. And then this next screen is just gonna be vehicle information. Uh, if you do need to update via Wi-Fi, that is there. Uh, you can go in your device settings you can change the LCD brightness, uh, daytime level, your nighttime level, you can change the theme. If we wanted to change it to uh, red, we'll change it to red. Down. And then if you wanna, every time we do click on this, it does give a note, you can turn that off. And then this is also where, if you did have the issue with sensing the ignition key, like we did, the ignition key check is where that was. 
there's a couple other features you can go through here if you so choose or factory reset if you want to change everything back down Uh, the rest of these are just going to be device information, uh, which that'll just be for if you have questions with SET, they'll ask for your device number. That'll all be in there. Uh, your vehicle information, which is just going to give us the parameters of what the truck is. Uh, we, it'll axle gear ratio that came with it. The factory tire size was a 32.99. And TPMS sensors are at 35 and 35 is what's recommended. So that pretty much wraps up the tuner. All right guys, now that we have this tuner fully installed, if you are looking to pick up one of these SCT Livewire TS Plus tuners, make sure to check out our website, customoffsets.com forward slash performance.